Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back for a new battle for you here. This one was pretty hacksy, but um, fun for you guys to watch, hopefully, and pretty annoying for me to face this guy. But anyways, they are going to lead off with Dredagon as I lead off with Mystery Vis. So first turn, I really, really want to get a burn on this thing, go for the will o -Wisp, and of course I miss. So now they're going to go for the Glare, and of course they hit, but I can't hit a Will-O-Wisp. So now they're going to switch out, going into their Charizard, expecting me to go for the will o -Wisp, which is a pretty good move, but it doesn't matter because I get Parahax. So now I want to switch into my Rotom, because I do know that he can take whatever this Charizard wants to hit me with. And he goes for the Air Slash, I do resist it, and it only does 30 damage, so... Now, he does make another decent switch, goes back into his Dredagon to take the obvious Thunderbolt, which is just fine, doesn't matter too much. I want to play it safe, you know, it's kind of early in the ma in the battle to be making any sort of prediction. So I go for the second Will-O-Wisp, and I miss. So, that's kind of annoying. Two in a row. Two Will-O-Wisp Will misses in a row. So he keeps getting lefties, recovery, and I keep going for, th I'm going to start going for Thunderbolt, because um, I kind of expected him to go back into his Charizard again, expecting another Will-O-Wisp, but I kind of over-predicted there, but, you know, didn't really matter too much, but now he's going to keep getting those lefties, and the only two moves you're going to see on this thing for the whole match are Dragon Claw and Glare, kind of annoying. But before I just got this Citrus Berry, I was at 79 HP. If I was at 78 HP, I would have got my Citrus Berry. And there I miss a third Will-O-Wisp. So one point away from getting a Citrus Berry and three Will-O-Wisp misses. So this match is looking great, plus a Parahax. So that was great. So I'm going to go into my Mystery Vis because I don't want this or Rotom paralyzed anymore. And he's just going to get his lefties recovery, but he's going to attempt to make another good play and go back into his Charizard expecting the Will-O-Wisp, but I go for the Heal Bell to get rid of all that paralyzation. So, now he's going to go for this Fire Blast. I don't know why I didn't switch out to Rotom here. Probably would have been the much better play here. Um, especially for the fact that since I stayed in, I was debating whether or not to go for the Shadow Ball or the Pain Split. And I think it would have been much safer to go for the Pain Split and then the Shadow Ball. But, yeah, that crit's useless. But, you know, whatever. Not too big of a deal. I am able to go in my ro into my Rotom. And he's going to switch out once again into his Dredagon. Expecting another, quote, obvious T-Bolt. But I do go for the Pain Split. Much better move on my part. Finally getting a little bit more momentum in this game. And I do get a decent chunk of HP back from that pain split. So now I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp and finally hit the move. So he's just going to go for his like third or fourth glare. And yeah, he really wants this Rotom paralyzed. Although now that he is burned, he can't do too much to me. So no matter how many Dragon Claws he wants to hit, he's not going to be doing too much as long as he's burned. So... I'm going to stay in, and I'm going to keep going for the Thunderbolt, because I don't want to be using Overheat. Not only is it obviously resisted, but because of the special attack drop, really not going to be doing too much after one or two. So, Thunderbolt is the safe option, and I keep going for it. So, I'm at 73 HP, keep going for that Thunderbolt, and he gets lefties and burn damage. So, at this point, I'm thinking, okay, this is I'm, I'm safe to you know, take him out with the T-Bolt here. He goes for another Dragon Claw, and I get Parahax. Again. Now, this one wasn't the one that bothered me. It wasn't that much of a big deal right here. But he's going to keep taking burn damage. But he goes for another Dragon Claw, of course. And this is the one that bothered me. Because if I had gone for the Thunderbolt, it would have taken him out after burn damage. Or just taken him out right there. And he would have gone into his Charizard, most likely, because I was at low health, and take me out. But that would have given me a chance to see what he wanted to do. Maybe set up on me with Dragon Dance or a sub, but I highly doubt he would have Dragon Dance. Because I've seen two special attacks on him, and sub is kind of unconventional, typically. So, the only thing I can go now on a double down is my last guy, of course, 
is Skunk Tank. And he goes into his Charizard, and I don't really know why I went for the Poison Jab here. Um, I guess I was kind of too paranoid about him having sub for some strange reason. And instead of the Sucker Punch, I go for it. Doesn't matter, it takes him out regardless. And for some reason, I outspeed, even though I'm not max speed or anything uh, with 252 in speed like that. So I go for the Taunt on this Jellison because I know it's going to go for either Recover, Taunt, or Will-O-Wisp. And I go for the stab, super effective sucker punch, and just when you thought the hacks couldn't get any worse in this match, I get cursed body with sucker punch. And he gets a citrus berry. So, this played a big role in the end of this match, mainly for the fact that he was taunted for the next two turns, and I'm forced to go for poison jab. I could go for my final move fire blast, but it wouldn't have made much of a difference because most Jellicent are especially bulky. So now his taunt wears off right here, I'm expecting him to go for a recover. But like I said, can't go for the fire blast because I'm pretty sure he's especially bulky. And poison jab is resisted along with fire blast and I can't go for the sucker punch. So I'm in a bit of a pickle <laughs> and I go for that final poison jab. It lives with the tiniest sliver of HP and that's gonna be the game overall. It was a pretty decent game, minus all the hacks from my side, but um, yeah, so that's the battle. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Finally back, uh, still getting everything together for those higher quality videos, but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. So comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.